Hi everyone, it's just uh, Richard here from the Vox Seminal Gaming Team. Now, uh, Luke Havoc Peyton has been kind enough to loan us his gaming PC so we can run through uh, one of the features of the MSI Z97 Gaming 7 motherboard, which is the killer network interface. Now, we've just got his desktop up here. Now, you'll find the killer network interface down in the taskbar down the bottom here, or on the desktop, depending on where you've got it. Now, if we open that up, now, the basic premise is, is Killer Network Manager is a killer network interface. Now, it's better than your normal network card because it has a lot of bandwidth priority control. So what you can do is speed things up or slow things down to make sure that you've got, you know, the maximum amount of bandwidth available for your gaming. Now, just to do a quick run through <coughs> of the application, if you go to Killer Ethernet, uh, it shows your network info, your IP address, that's obviously LAN IP address, um, the speed of your network connection, and just basic network information. Now, if you go to the network section, now we need to do this one. Now, this one's pretty important because if you're going to enable bandwidth control, you want to make sure it's controlling the bandwidth based on the best possible speed. So what you want to do is straight up make sure everything's closed. Uh, make sure your antivirus isn't updating, Windows Update is not running, you don't have any downloads going, you don't have any torrents going. Make sure you get all that done, get everything stopped so you get a nice, crisp, clear internet connection, and then click on Test Network Speed. Now that'll do a speed test, which gives the application the benchmark speeds to which it uses to control the bandwidth um, coming in and out of the PC. Now if you have you know, a heap of downloads running and it gets really low speed, it's going to prioritize your bandwidth based on what you'd consider a false reading. Now you can also turn that off. So if you untick enable bandwidth control, that will disable all the killer networking uh, features and it will just operate as an everyday network card. But obviously we don't want to do that. Now as you can see, my upload speed is 1.98. My download speed is 1.98 or 1.96 because I've got two slash two GSH DSL. So that's all spot on. Now it also has performance graphs as well which shows um, at the moment it's on the upload usage display which is showing us how much data we're uploading at the moment which is virtually nothing now i'll get rid of steam hello matthew goodbye now you've also got your download usage which shows currently we've got a download going on now i'm not doing anything so what's going on i don't know well it's just stopped so i dare say it might have been steam because that's what i was showing now it shows you top applications oh there you go microsoft malware protection command line utility so what that'll be is your, my microsoft security essentials updating itself because it's showing the orange indicator down there so look there's a good example um, of how you can monitor your usage uh, live and interactive as you're using your PC. Now, if we go back to the applications page, this is where all of the cool stuff happens. Now, you can sort your applications by name, priority, download speed, or upload speed, which just gives you, well, usually you use download speed because you want to kind of control what's being downloaded. Now, this here, I'll almost guarantee you, is Microsoft Security Essentials updating itself. So, what we can do is we can set it to low priority which means if you kickstart another application, it will give that application preference over this particular application. So if you're doing a Security Essentials update, you think, yeah, okay, I'll let it do it, but I want a game as well. You set this to low and set your game to high, so that way your game gets all the bandwidth it needs and you don't get a bad ping or um, packet loss or anything like that because you know the Microsoft Security Essentials program is hogging all the downloads. Now the other one you can do, which is what I did while I was downloading some of these applications we're using today, is I clicked on block. And see, it immediately stops the download altogether. So that way it just blocks the application from accessing the internet. So if you're in the middle of a game, you get a massive lag spike, you go, well, what the hell's going on? You can alt tab out, have a look at what processes suddenly started soaking up your internet, and click on block and stop it. And that's the beauty of having the killer network interface. Now you can sort by priority too, so you can set up a heap of different presets for your um, software. So you've got uh, antivirus software priority and low, so if it does want to update, it can, but it won't interfere with games in the process. So what we can do is we can, uh, I'll have to go back into Steam, which hopefully means people will leave me alone. Um, okay. As you can see, there's the Steam client kicking in. Steam News, we don't need. Uh, I'm downloading an update, which is Counter-Strike Global Offensive, which is a pain because I wanted to jump into the game and show you 
it running, but obviously I'm not going to be able to do that because Counter-Strike is updating. So what we'll do is we'll take a quick pause, wait till that's done, we'll come back and then we'll just run through. Okay, so we're back. Uh, basically, Cisco is now updated. Now, it's kind of a bit tricky to show you this because I'm just doing a monitor capture, so it's not going to show you in-game, but what we're going to do is we're going to launch Cisco. Now you just see the screen go black for a minute just while the game's loading up. Now what we're going to do is send the game uh, just into just to go TV, just to we'll watch some global elites playing in game. Okay, so that's connecting. So we're we'll Alt Tab out. Now if we go back to Applications, now what we should be able to see if we go Sort by Download, and there's CSGO. So see how it's automatically assigned CSGO the highest priority because it's picked up that it's a Steam game. So it's gone, okay, this is a game. This is what I'm here for. I'm going to make it the highest priority. Now what we can do <coughs> is uh, we can also kick in a download, which I had right here. Windows XP Service Pack 3. Now this is a, the core thing you want to see because basically we're going to start a full speed download. And we're going to watch what happens to the bandwidth because in the end... Um, <laughs> it, it's working already because what, what we will see, sorry, I'm going to get that out of the way, is basically, see how our web browsing is, is if we go download, okay, so there she goes. Now if we go back to our killer network manager, see how CSGO still has a nice stable amount of bandwidth, that hasn't changed. Now see how Google Chrome, it's, it's not getting up near its maximum amount of download speed because what it's doing, it's giving priority to CSGO. So CSGO is getting all the bandwidth it needs, but the Google Chrome download will never hit the maximum because Cisco is actually taking, you know, it's taking what it needs, only what it needs. So it gets whatever it wants and then Google Chrome use whatever's left over. Now, I can't really show you this in-game because it's a little bit tricky. So like I said, I've got a monitor capture, so you're not going to see the in-game. Um, but if you join a game server, you're going to sit there running around with your usual, you know, 30, 40 ping. And you're going to be able to play quite happily because the killer network interface is given all the priority to the game. Your downloads in the background, um, you can either block them or leave them running. But it doesn't really matter because in the end, CSGO is going to run nice and smooth with the ping you're expecting because it's getting all the priority. So that's it, guys. We've shown the game uh, coming up. We'll kill that download. So yeah, so we'll see... We've seen that the network interface will actually pick up your games, set them to the highest priority already, which is good. Now it's worth checking because it may not recognize the game and put it to normal priority. So you can always go back here, alt tab out of the game and just check to make sure that the game's been picked up and it's got the highest priority. If not, set it to highest and that way you'll be able to play smooth and lag free without any problems. Okay guys, so that's the killer network interface. It's basics on you know how it works. Now the core thing to note here is that I have a single PC connected to your router. If you have another PC that doesn't have a killer network interface, it's going to take whatever it wants because the killer network interface can't control the bandwidth for other devices unless you're sharing the internet off this particular PC. So if you've got your own PC, your own own router, you've got the only well, nothing else connected to it, uh, it's perfect because you can perfectly control everything that's coming in and out of your modem and give your games the highest priority so you can play lag free without having, you know, ping spikes because your antivirus is updating. So there you go, guys. There you go, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed it and yeah, stay tuned for more videos. I think the next one is, uh, you know, walkthrough of OC Genie. We'll show you the push button overclocking, uh, overclocking using the MSI gaming app. And also we'll probably do a couple of safe BIOS overclock so you can have a look and just see you know how to overclock your pc from the bios and using the built-in applications that come with the z97 gaming 7 motherboard until then